My question is to the Treasurer, as Minister representing the Minister for Finance, who is responsible for Commonwealth assets, including the Lodge. Can the Treasurer confirm the Prime Minister is spending 14 days in quarantine with his photographer? Not the head of his department, not his chief of staff, not his senior health or economic advisers, not his national security adviser. Why is the Prime Minister always focused on photo ops and marketing? Just before I call the um, Leader of the House, there, there are a number of members on my left. As well as there being a number of detectable inaccuracies there, even using the fact that the Treasurer represents the Minister for Finance, that could hardly be said to be even Could inside. the Leader of the House pause for a second? Could members on my left cease interjecting? The Leader of the House. Even, if, you even just, if, just, if you could just rewind back a sentence, that would be helpful. I'll I'll have, do that absolutely. Even allowing for the fact that the Treasurer represents the Minister for Finance in this House, um, the fact of personnel being uh, in the lodge, uh, of which there are a number, as would necessarily be the case to support the Prime Minister, who exactly they are could hardly be said to be inside the responsible or officially connected public affairs of the Minister for Finance. Member for Cowan is warned. I just say to those members interjecting, I can arrange a third chamber for them, separate to the Federation Chamber, out in the opposition lobby. The, I, I take the point that the Leader of the House made. The, only the first part of the question asking the Treasurer to confirm that the Prime Minister was spending 14 days in quarantine is in order. The rest isn't. Um, the fact that the answer is obvious doesn't mean it's not in order. Um, we can see the Prime Minister there in quarantine. So, if the Treasurer wants to address himself, wants to address himself um, to the bleedingly obvious, he, he can. But the rest of the question is Thank not you, in order. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, as the House is aware, the Prime Minister undertook an important visit to Japan on behalf of this nation, where significant agreements uh, were signed. <laughs> and where Australia's interests were advanced. And one would, th one would think at a time of an increasingly complex strategic environment that the Prime Minister of this country, becoming the first foreign leader to be invited to Japan to meet with Prime Minister Suga, is a very significant reflection on the positive bilateral relationship between Australia and Japan. So I'd say to those opposite, instead, instead of making a mockery of an important visit on behalf of this nation, they should understand the significance of Australia's bilateral relationship with Japan, which has been advanced by our Prime Minister's historic visit um, only weeks ago.